Hey everybody, obviously not here today. Um, sorry about missing out. I'm not really feeling well, so I'm actually recording this the night before, which is right now for me. Weird. Anyway, I am not feeling well, so I'm not going to come in. Um, but today's assignment was pretty complicated, so I wanted to make a video of it to you know really be able to help you out. Um, this is going to be your last secondary source analysis. I can say that, and so. The last one's a little more difficult for a couple of reasons. One, you've already done three of these, and so you should be pretty good about it by now. So the challenge is, instead of a week of doing this, you're only getting a day. Now, I know many of you are like, oh my god, how are we going to do this? Well, you're getting the entire day today to work on this. Um, you know, that's pretty much after I'm done talking, a solid 45 to 40 minutes of work time. So being able to do this and do it well is going to be very important. And if you can't get it done that time, the same kind of quality I've been expecting, then you'll need to do it during study hall. You'll need to work on it during a homeroom, maybe after school. But really, I'm trying to challenge the people to see like who's really learned this stuff, who's actually understands like how to find good quotes quickly and elaborate on them. Um, if you only take one or two quotes and write very briefly about it, I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to let you turn it in. It will be missing. And on Wednesday, we're taking you guys to a movie, and the ones who have it missing, you're not going. You'll have to work on it during Miss Bowman's homeroom, or I'm sorry, Miss Bowman's work study, and I'll also be giving extra assignments. And so make sure you're doing this. Look at the other ones that you've done before. If I've complained about them, or if you have not gotten a four out of four in the grade book about them, that would be a good clue as to you need to get it. You need to do a better job. So real quick, just to kind of go over. Um, I'm gonna put these hyperlinks back into the calendar on Monday. So if you can't find your original ones, you should be able to easily find them. In this other one, this hyperlink I'm going to include, there's even a hyper, or another hyperlink inside it. You see it right, right here, I'm hovering. You guys can check that out. And remember, that's the videos that shows you how to do it. So if you're really having a hard time with it, just use those things, okay? Uh, make sure you're filling in all the boxes like we've always done. Remember, number two, if you can't find an author, it's not really a big deal. And again, if you want more information, just click here and like click this little hyperlink right here and it'll give you more info. And then finally, if you scroll down, you know, I want you to tell me the author's purpose, really getting into that. I grade that skill. And if I keep going, you'll see where it says below, write your notes about the secondary source, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you're writing quotes. Make sure you're actually telling me why those quotes are important. Why do they matter? That all needs to be included, okay? So just like normal, that's due. Now there's a second reason why it's tougher. First reason, it's going to be due a lot faster. You need to turn it in by Tuesday in class. Tuesday is going to be another like analysis day, but I'm going to ask to, actually ask you to print this one off and give it to me because I'm actually going to include this one also in your big semester test packet. So by tomorrow, you need to have it ready to go because I'm going to print it. Next, you have to do a couple extra things. You, I'll zoom in so you can see it better, need to be able to do these primary source analysis tricks, these little skills. I want you to do these two skills. So I just highlighted the two, go ahead and write them down in a notebook or something. You should do these in a notebook though. You should have this on notebook paper and then on Tuesday you're gonna print it all off and do it. So you need to do this one, identified ideas, images, or terms that need to be further defined or explained. And then the third one, describe additional evidence needed to better understand the source. We've done these skills before. We've watched videos about how to do them. We've done them in class with each other. We've talked about them. So it, just try to remember those things. If you're having a hard time, I can post videos on the team calendar. Those videos will be there for you guys. It should be already there. So if you're good, just do it. Just do the source and make sure you're using that race strategy, right? You always want to make sure you're using that race strategy every single time. And you need to write basically two race paragraphs that do these two things, telling me about ideas and images that you think need to be further defined and why. Like, why do you think they're important? And then finally, describing additional evidence that you need. Like, what are some sources that you would also like to have that would maybe answer questions for you? Like, you need to do all those things, okay? So, big day for you tomorrow. A lot of analysis to do. Honestly, if... I don't think many of you will get it done in class. Like 45 minutes, 40 minutes isn't going to be a lot of time. I think many of you are going to need at least an hour. So a lot of you, you know, this is going to be classwork and probably study hall or homeroom at least. If you get done before class bell rings, you didn't work hard enough. And I already told the sub that if that happens, they need to come down on you and figure out what's going on. Okay? So make sure you're taking time with analysis. Ask the sub for help. Ask each other for help. Don't be too distracted about it, though, and try to get this done. 
I will have my email open the entire time. I'm not feeling great, but I will be working on my computer all day tomorrow. So if you have questions, email me, okay? Um, again, go to Team Haleakala, check out the links I've sent you. If you're really confused or need more information, watch the videos that we've watched before. It might help, okay? So right now, you need to do one of two things. You either need to get open your bibliography, and you need to find a new website. You're going to be analyzing a brand new website today, so find that first. Or... I have got books from Rollins this last weekend, and I put the entire pile of books over there by my whiteboard. If you would like to use one of those books for your secondary source, you are welcome to. However, it's going to be tougher if you do that. So I really recommend using a website. But if you have no websites, go to the book, okay? Now, everybody can close this video unless you're in Lincoln. If you're in Lincoln, I want to talk to you now. So again, everybody else, get out of here. Lincoln Group, you have mostly printed off your sources. So for you, this should be really easy. Just get the document open, start doing the analysis. You haven't done this yet, but I want to see how far you can go. What kind of analysis can you do? Ask for help, but get your binders out and really start going through these skills, okay? Tell me about the author. Tell me more about highlighting quotes and things, like actually highlight quotes and write sentences next to them. But just give me a solid analysis, okay? I really want to see that detail from you. And again, if you're having a hard time, please email me. There should be no excuse. Do not distract each other. Do not try to, you know, distract the sub. Be kind to the sub. And please ask me if you need help, okay? All right, so that's it for you guys, too. If you want to go get a book, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, good luck, guys. Communicate with me if you need it, and I will see you tomorrow.